You know, there's something I've noticed that I've kind of overlooked and given a free pass on regarding MOP and all the shows and all the people within this series. It seems like those in power are probably the least best choice you could have chosen. Twilight Sparkle is the princess of friendship, and yet she doesn't seem to actually understand what friendship is. Sure, it's okay not to completely understand 100% the subject you're the ruler of, but when you constantly forget the lessons that you've learned over and over and over again, then maybe it should call into question your fitness to actually be the arbiter of such a huge concept that is friendship. Now, I'm not saying that Twilight is just the worst choice, but she certainly wouldn't be my top choice. Even the elements at some times seem very unfitting, such as Rainbow Dash being loyalty, yet she seems to always be brutally honest, or Applejack's willingness to always stick by her friends, and her willingness to sometimes fib the truth or avoid telling the truth. There just seems to be some mismatches here. And one of the ones that I've kind of started thinking about more and more is Star Swirl the Bearded. As we've seen, he's come back and now he's here to stay since the season 7 finale. If you guys didn't know that, well, I'm sorry you're spoiled. Your day is now ruined. Maybe you should have watched it when it aired, like, four months ago. But bringing him up in this topic, some people might not realize this, but the reason why he couldn't finish his spells, and even a few of them, was because he had no friends. He had no concept of friendship. That was the one lesson that he couldn't learn. And since friendship is magic, that means that him as a magician would technically be a failure. He's also locked up and caused some of the greatest evils because of his inability to show compassion and understanding. This person who couldn't figure out the concepts of friendship was put in charge of deciding what to do with many souls. As we've seen, he's banished the sirens to another dimension in which he didn't even look to see if he would be affecting its residents. He wasn't even considering the fact that he wasn't just signing a death warrant for the sirens but sentencing them to something that could have potentially have just been a long process of starving to death. A very, very inhumane way to die. This person is not someone that people should look up to. He's done a lot of good for magic in the society. But you have to ask at what cost. He seems to be a cold, callous person, and yet he's revered as a hero. He's almost on the status of a god. I don't think Star Swirl the Bearded is really a hero. I think he in all rights is one of the greatest villains in the series. And yes, I understand that the show likes to portray him as being good as we're constantly hammered over the head with how amazing he was, how he changed magic as they know it, how he propelled Equestria forward, and how he even tutored the princesses. But history is written by the victors. And North Korea, those citizens revere Kim Jong-un as a deity. But we know him as a monster. You see, in this world, we've seen a lot of things that are kind of brushed aside as not being bad despite if you stop and think about it, it's actually pretty horrible. It's no wonder that Celestia likes to punish people as harshly as she does, such as locking Discord in stone for over a thousand years while leaving him cognitive of the time that passed. While putting Luna on the moon for a thousand years when she had the ability to purify her as the main six did. Star Swirled goes with what is easiest and most harsh of a punishment for anyone he's gone up against. Instead of talking to the Pony of Shadows, he immediately mobilizes his group to incarcerate him, even sacrificing all of his friends first. He did not try any other method. He assumed that there was no reasoning. He assumed that because he's being opposed, 
that there is no redeeming factor or even a single justifiable reason to go against his word. He's like a totalitarian dictator. He wants complete and ultimate submission to him and his will. When Star's world first comes to our world in the series, we see that he's not this lovable character that we would assume someone like him to be. He's more cold and calculating. In fact, he almost completely disregards anyone else's input. He only sticks with those who he's deemed worthy to even be near him. Twilight, someone who has done incredible feats, completed spells even he couldn't do and saved the world on countless occasions, is dismissed as if she's just a meddling kid, a, a commoner, not worthy of his time. It is only when he, she comes up with an idea that is somewhat passable to him that he even acknowledges her existence in a positive nature and that's only after other people force him to even look at her work and the question of girls the, the flashback with him and the sirens show him less as a kind-hearted person and more of a god overlooking the world ready to cast judgment on those he seems to deem as wicked even within the comics, where he's generally shown as being a decent person. He's very commanding and very controlling of those around him. Even with the princesses themselves. When he feels Celestia's is when he feels Celestia is overusing the mirror, instead of confronting her, talking about it, and telling her the dangers, he simply makes the mirror disappear. He doesn't first think to confront her, he thinks of simply removing the problem. At the end of the day, I'm sure the writers mean for him to be a good person. They're not actively out there creating these weird nebulous beings who are both seen as good in the world but bad in ours. They want a unified force, something that seems good in both contexts, someone who is truly benevolent but they don't realize that there's actually a very fine line between a good ruler and a bad ruler. No one thinks that they're evil, usually. And usually sometimes the worst events in life are caused by people with good intentions. Everyone wants to be a hero, but they don't want to have to make tough decisions. There's not really an option always to save everyone and make sure that everyone is happy. A lot of the times, someone's going to be sad. Someone's going to get hurt. And you'll have to shoulder that. I'm sure Star Swirl the Bearded was doing what he thought was best. It's simply that when we look at it, when we're not in the same position as him, when we're years apart and with different experiences, and we look back at what he's done, what he said, it seems evil to us, but maybe to him, he was just doing what needed to be done. But hey, that's just what I think. I may see Star Swirl as being a bit of a twat, someone who's not really worthy to be looked up to, someone who did great things, but at a great cost. But you guys can let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you have a theory video that you want me to go ahead and expunge on some sort of topic, or even an idea for a top 10, leave that down there too. As always, we really do appreciate if you like this video. And if you really enjoy these videos and you want to see more, go ahead and support us on Patreon. We have tiers from $1 to $50, wherever you want to go. And every little bit helps. As always, I've been Faith from Eliminus. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow, that was a that was a spoopy theory video. Just like you guys love, just like the Celestia being Hitler one and all the other ones like where Twilight's the villain. You guys love these and I love making them for you. So be sure to check out that Patreon. There's a video popping up here on your left that you can go ahead and click. It's YouTube's choice. It's what YouTube thinks you're gonna love. So you should you should probably trust YouTube. God knows that I am to uh right now that, that I am trusting YouTube doesn't screw me over. Uh so be sure to pick up some merch from our T public store linked in the description as well because being naked is a crime and if you have to clothe your naked body you might as well do so with some fashionable apparel it's selling like a god church follow me on twitter which can't be linked because youtube's dumb at moliminous 
which should be at the very least in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed.